Time now for Consumer Confidential with KTLA 5's David Lazarus. Yes, he is joining us live this morning. David, good to see you. Uh, so the U.S. recently halted avocado imports from Mexico, and that is uh, making the prices go up, up, up. And what's amazing, Lulu, is that the import ban on Mexican avocados was imposed just days ago, and already shortages are being seen here in the United States. In some cities, prices are already up by 15%. Now, you might not know this, but roughly 80% of all avocados consumed in the United States come from south of the border. And when you cut that off that supply, you suddenly lose a lot of avocados. Right now, the industry says there's about a week's worth of avocados in stockpile. That's going to go quickly, they say, and after that, well, we'll just have to see. Some grocery stores are already scrambling to get more California avocados, which are great, but they tend to run about 30% more in price than their Mexican alternatives. Now, the Mexican import ban was imposed after an inspector south of the border received threatening calls. And amidst that uh, turmoil and the potential for violence, the import ban came down. And now, of course, come shortages. Before uh, millennials who love avocado toast uh, start rioting in the streets, keep in mind, this too shall pass. The import ban undoubtedly will be lifted, if not in coming days, then at least in coming weeks. And, well, it's a boost for the California avocado industry, to be sure. But the bottom line is, if you're into your avocados, and who isn't, you're going to be paying more, at least in the near term. And as you know, as soon as they start going soft, you better eat them quick. Uh, every day. Hit those brown spots, and it's over. All right, Elon Musk says the uh, Securities and Exchange Commission is harshing his mellow. Hmm. Oh, well put. Yes, indeed. Uh, Elon Musk, very upset with the Securities and Exchange Commission. They, he says, through a lawyer, that the SEC is trying to deny him his free speech rights and is trying to chill his words, his uh, ability to speak his mind. Uh, no, not so much. It turns out that a few years ago, in 2019, Elon Musk entered into an agreement with the SEC to allow his social media posts to be monitored. This after the SEC accused him of making false and misleading statements on social media, especially Twitter, that were inflating Tesla's share price. And as part of the settlement for that, Musk did agree to let the SEC and Tesla oversee his posts. Well, now that he's... Uh, a very famous person and still active on social media. He wants that settlement apparently to go away, but that's not how it works. His lawyer says that he's being cracked down upon because he is, quote, an outspoken critic of the government. No, it's because he entered into a deal with the government to behave in a certain fashion. It's not too much to ask him to behave as he agreed to. All right, we talked about avocados, uh, those prices going up. Also, some chocolatey treats headed in the north direction. Kit Kat bars, to be specific. What's the world coming to when Kit Kat bars start getting out of reach, economically speaking? And yet, the maker of Kit Kats, Nestle, the world's largest maker of packaged foods, says it's going to be raising prices for almost all of its brands this year. So we're talking about not just Kit Kats, but Nescafe and all sorts of other brands coming to us from the Swiss company. Uh, now, this, uh, this comes amid, obviously, rising consumer prices for almost everything. They're at the highest level in about 40 years right now. Almost all big companies, especially food companies, have seen COVID-related supply issues and shortages, and they are passing along their higher production costs to consumers. Nestle is no different. In the fourth quarter, the company raised its prices by about 3.1 percent. The company now says that this year, almost all of its products will be higher in price as well. But when it comes to higher priced Kit Kats, you've just got to wonder how much can this country suffer? Back to you guys. <laughs> Could be the tipping point. Oh, David. I think we're there. Uh, yeah. we'll, yeah. See you to, we'll see you later today at 1 o'clock.